Hello everyone, Michael here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video, I'm going to compare my microphones that I have so far, and I like to compare them because one is USB and another one is XLR. And so today we're going to compare these guys, the uh, Shure SM7B and XLR dynamic microphone, and uh, the other mic that I um, still own is the Dragon Blazer GN300 a USB dynamic mic and today I'm going to compare them to see how they stack up against through competition I and uh, also I do assume the fact that the price is very very different but it does not matter for this review and so let's talk about the build quality of this thing and before we get into the tests I'm going to show the build, qual the build quality as you can see the uh, Dragon GM300 it feels fine it has metal grill it's an all metal body uh, very symmetrical and personally I indeed like it uh, on the bottom you have the uh, USB port as you can observe and here I like to point out it's different because the SM7B it has the XLR port uh, next to the mic because it already has a shock mount installed and actually the mic itself, the Red Dragon GM300, it comes with a shock mount. As the difference is the SM7B it's a lot bigger than the Red Dragon one. It's like twice bigger as we can observe. You have where to screw your mount and it has a 5 inches to 3 inches stand adapter which you can install it. And the windscreen is very big and if we have a little bit of look at uh, metal grill it's built different. And to, to know that it works it has this cable which means um, which, which means the, con the mic connection. And now let's jump to the tests. Right now I'm speaking directly to the Dragon Blizzard GM300 without a windscreen. If you're interested in, in this bike, it will cost you 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll put some links down in the description. And now I'm talking to GM300 with the windscreen on. Now I'm speaking directly to the Shure SM7B, which will cost you around $400. Now I'm going to type on a keyboard to see how much it rejects while I'm talking, which is how much of the background and the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm going to type on a keyboard with Cherry MX Plus to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm right on top of the microphone to demonstrate the proximity effect. Now I'm right on top of the SM7B to demonstrate the proximity effect. Now I'm against right on top of the GM300 with the fatter windscreen to demonstrate the proximity effect. Now I am with one of the windscreens on uh, to demonstrate the proximity effect. And for the last time, I'm right on top of the SM7B. Now I'm again right on top of the GM300, 3 inches off, pointing right on my mouth, and here's how it's sounding. And now I'm 3 inches away from the SM7B, and here's how it's sounding. I'm about 1 foot away from the GM300, about 1 foot away from the SM7B, and we are again on GM300, 2 foot away from it. And now I am two foot away from the SM7B. And now, as a little bit of extra, I'm speaking directly to the SM7B with the flat response on to see how it sounds. Now we have the bass roll off engage, and this is how it's sounding. It sounds a little bit different, that's why I'm doing this. This is how the SM7B sounds with the presence boost activated. And this is how the SM7B sounds with the bass roll off and the presence boost activated. And the winner of this Versus series. It is pretty obvious, but I'm going to say it is the Shure SM7B. And of course, I will explain. First, I'd like to point out the fact that it is amazing how a cheap USB, USB dynamic microphone can go uh, to 20 Hz all the way up to 20,000 Hz, because there are also microphones on the market with this price, 50 bucks, and it does not make this much. But personally, I think both of the microphones are worth it. The $50 one, in case you don't have too much money and you don't want to spend too much money, because for this uh, SM7B mic, you also need to get a USB interface. And as a $400 mic, personally, I think it's worth it. In my opinion, I use it daily. I love the way the sounds. And this is with the settings with the equalization. 
Also, you can get the same settings with the Redragon GM300. In any recording program, program you do uh, uh, OBS or Streamlabs OBS, it does not matter. And I chose this microphone because as a frequency response, it does better than the GM300. And uh, to give it as a bonus, the uh, flat response, uh, bass roll off, and the presence boost are doing a very, very good job and this this mic is in advantage all right and i think this is going to do for this video if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated and hey have you learned anything new do you want to um, learn more stuff then let me down in the comments uh, and also subscribe if you want to encourage me and so we can get to my goal of 100,000 subscribers to the end of the year and so guys i'll leave you out here i was I was Michael and like this, we will see next time. Peace out.